Usually in media, reverb is a bad thing. <laughs> but it's... It, mm, Feedback is bad. Audio, Feedback is bad. Reverb is good. Excessive reverb, reverb right, can fine. make things difficult fine. to hear. Fine. And therefore, <laughs> this morning, I'm happy to discuss it in a lighter, positive way. So, Rock has alluded to it before. We are chatting with Music TT this morning as we get ready to tell you all about reverb. And joining me to do that this morning is the chairman of Music TT, Mr. John Arnold, along with Ms. Melissa Jimenez, the general manager of Music TT. Lady and gentlemen, good morning. Morning, morning. Morning. Welcome good morning. to the Now Morning Show. And tell me immediately all about, well, as I was saying, RV, RB, reverb, as we get ready to experience it. Melissa, what is it all about? So Reverb is a part of our 2021 Music Exports Academy offering. Mm -hmm. The event will be an annual one um, and free in the first instance. And the experience offers several speakers, panels, networking, performances. It's a music conference that will be taking place from September the 29th to October the 1st. Nice. Now, you see an experience, and of course, with everything being virtual, we know that it's going to be online. We're talking panelists, we're talking discussions, and all the facets of the industry itself. How does it differ from other virtual experiences? So the target for these discussions, this is to highlight Trinidad and Tobago and Caribbean music. Mm. So we would have all these other music conferences worldwide that focus on either US music, right. Canadian music, African music, or they will have pockets of, you know, little international features around right. there. But we are wholly and solely looking at Trinidad and Tobago and Caribbean music on the whole. So we're hoping to be in the next five years, maybe that mega house that they will come to, to understand Caribbean music and Caribbean music business. Absolutely. And that's definitely necessary because we see where there's no one particular source that we can go to for even basic things like, you know, bios on our, our artists. Although the diaspora spans well over continents and the Caribbean. So I'm looking forward to the next five years. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. John Arnold, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the panelists and the persons who will be involved in the experience. Yeah, well, I think first of all, I'll tell you um, about the three days. Um, Melissa just outlined the 29th to the 1st. On day one, we, we're going to tackle this whole thing about the reboot and transformation, how we come out of COVID, mm. cultural resistance, resilience, and how we how, how the artists and the creatives deal with that. Day two, we're going to look at the power of data analytics. And uh, day three, we're going to look at reshaping the festival experience. Um, in, in, a, in our year one, which this year I'm very excited about this year for several reasons. Uh, we have several key persons who are going to be there. Um, we're going to have people like Keith Kirk, Cleon Richardson, Narisha Khan. Uh, we'd also have people like Tisha Jack, Dr. Alina Williams, um, Jerry Anthony, uh, Kate Durot, Santiago, Robert, several key persons, yeah. over 30 speakers from over six countries. And we are very excited about this conference and what it means to the creatives. As you should be. You're listing persons from all different facets of the industry, not just at the forefront in terms of latte entertainment or creating the music, right. but business and specifically talking to people who help you to navigate data like you in Rose. I think uh, uh, something that you mentioned, I think it's in day two, is it, is the actual use and management of data, correct? Yes, correct. Now, now that is and absolutely... And those are broken now. Yeah. Sorry? I know I was saying those are broken down each day. Under those big head themes, we have some other sub themes below them. Right. For example, on the festivals, you will have things like greening festivals, okay. right? The, the culture of festivals, the greening aspect, which, you know, in, in this day and age of climate, um, climate awareness and all that, climate change, climate change. Um, topics like those have become very, very important mm -hmm. in modern times.
and even before that, specific to the, yeah. the use and the understanding of data in this digital world, it is absolutely going to be an asset to the persons attending. So I'm excited too, and I'm not even in the industry. <laughs> so in terms of <laughs> accessing the reverb experience, how do we do that? Where do we go? So you're going to reverbexperience.com. So mm -hmm. that's R V R B experience.com. Um, to keep abreast of all the updates surrounding that, you follow any of our social media um, platforms at Music of TT, mm -hmm. not Music TT, at Music of, of TT. TT. We're specifying okay. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you will get all the updates. Right now, we just updated our website on our speakers mm -hmm. um, yesterday. And we're happy to say that one of the speakers that will be joining us is Sonia Norwood. Sonia Norwood is an entertainment manager for music and film. And she is also the mother and artist manager to um, Grammy Award winning singer Brandy and That's right. RJ. I don't, I, that, that was the part that had me. Like I said, I'm not in the industry, but to get the insight on the back work, so to speak, uh, or the background work rather, of management and facilitating those sorts of endeavors, which is ultimately the goal of Music TT, making sure that we have a product that is exportable. It's incredible. And also I wanted to tell Brandy, I say hi, but that's the next story for the next day. <laughs> for now though, I also wonder in terms of, apart from panels rather, that means making this product exportable entails some sort of training. And I know there's a spotlight. So tell me a little bit as to what that entails. Correct. So that's a perfect segue from Reverb to Spotlight because at the end of our Reverb day of events, um, there is going to be a music showcase. Mm, and for sense. this year, you know, just because of accessibility, so all you out there, don't kill me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are using all music, original music from all our spotlight artists, okay. um, alumni, as well as the current cohorts that is in training. So, so okay, to segue okay. that into the spotlight program, we have our open call um, out right now for the fifth intake of the Spotlight program. We've seen tremendous progress over the years with our artists and are very, very proud of them. They go through a very rigorous nine month um, training program where they are upskilled in business acumen related mm -hmm. to the music industry. They, um, they go through a whole branding overhaul. And as of the last cohort, which is cohort um, three, we actually started producing an EP. So that's like their final project okay. of sorts. So we pair them with um, renowned singer, songwriter, Daryl Gervais, who works also with JC Hit Music Labs, who is mm -hmm. infamous for syncing. Um, and they get to work alongside them, create their song. And then of course we distribute it on all public platforms and promote it. And so, we also submitted to the Grammys. Wow. I was so, just going to I was just going to ask because we, we saw the host of producers being uh, inculcated <laughs> into the Gram the award, the Academy Award, sorry. And so the opportunities here are amazing. We're gonna get EPs, we're gonna get scouts being able to access the, the artists and their work. We're also going to get not just the people who are training currently in this new program and the reverb experience, but the existing alumni as well, yes? Correct. This is amazing. I go and write a song or two. <laughs> yeah, I think before you close, just one of the things I think we, have, we haven't spoken about, the future is bright. That's the theme of the conference. I think that is critical because I think it allows us to, to be hopeful. Mm -hmm. This is really an, a, a real kind of you know, and it has really tested our resilience right to the core, I think, of all the creatives, including you two, right? <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, so I think I mean, we're really, really pleased to see that people have responded so well in the initial. And um, uh, we really hope that people really attend the conference next week. I really hope so too, because as you're rightfully saying, the future is bright, the theme of this year's conference. We are looking at dates again. Remind me, Ms. Amenez, from September to October. Remind me of those dates? September 29th to October 1st, and you can register at reverbexperience.com. 
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lady and gent, Miss Jimenez, <laughs> the uh, general manager of Music TT. <laughs> and of course, uh, Mr. John Arnold, the chairman of Music TT, joining me this morning to make sure that we get ready to experience Reverb in a really great way. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>